my mother, she was a very good storyteller and she had a vivid imagination. And she could tell it from memory. She could remember. And when she would get that uh, good writer like Charles Dickens, it really means something to you. And you want to read it for yourself. And words and books became part of my life. I started doubting a lot of things. I actually also wanted to be a, a Muslim because of all sorts of things. Yeah, yes. Mm. One, one, one book of my mother. My mother uh, once took me to a sangoma for, you know, uh, uh, some ceremony of some sort. I went there and then I got pierced and this and this and that. I was washed, I was given herbs and so on. You know, it was uh, the cleansing. to make my path in life smooth, as smooth as it could be, you know. So, to me, that showed, in fact, that my mother, because uh, that's what she knew. Discussing word bits, it's track record, it's history, and um, the main funding to the Center for the Instagram has been quite unfortunate. So my father was uh, a very, he is still a very devout uh, Christian and he still follows the Christian faith and I don't think that it's, there's, not, there's anything wrong. My views about African traditions is that African traditions are very valuable and helpful because they are very original and uh, very traditional, very strong. Personally, I've, as I said, I was, as my religious ideas sort of evolved, you know, I started uh, thinking about other things which were not really very Christian. But my father, being who he is, he admitted, he actually told me that, now, if whatever you do, it satisfies you, that's fine. You know, just do what you want to do, which will satisfy you. And, which, and remember, we were not always Christian, too. We were something else before we became Christian. mystery of the Sangam. I lost the mystery because he was somebody who just wanted to know what problems I had. Do you want to know what it was? Laziness. I was lazy and drunk. You know what she did? She just listened and said, my boy, stop drinking. There was nothing magical about it. It was the comedy. Tabang actually is also a bit conflicted in the book as a character. We could say, in a way, he's somebody who was neutral. You know, the question of religion is not something that concerned him that much. He just went along with the flow. My mother. I told her I had a serious problem, and she told me to go find help. She pointed me to the right direction. She told me to go see a sunrun. And I went. Not only once, but many times. I realized then that there were many people going there. They don't ever say it. 
but it's fact. So he was not against or for any kind of, but due to his uh, upbringing and so on, he was very skeptical about African culture. I'm still researching for some answers because there are still many questions lingering in my mind. I'm here looking around me and see a space in history which uh, demonstrates the tension between the old and the new. But if I have to say that my emphasis is on African traditional religion and African culture, that's where my focus is. A, a world that is fast disappearing, struggling against a world that is still yet to be born exactly. And I think that's where I'll find the answers to the questions which still plague me. But that's one thing we are in today. Spiritually, intellectually, culturally, all sorts of things that still I find troubling. When we look at this situation we are in, in which we find ourselves as Africans in particular, where we are straddling two worlds, the modern and the ancient, and trying to harmonize them in some way. And that, of course, leads to many contradictions. And even in some instances, it leads to paralysis, because nobody really knows which way is the right way. And therefore, we find this state of affairs where people, instead of moving forward or moving backward, they stand still. And that is our situation, we find this demonstrated in this village we are in. The ancients against the so-called modern, which is of course something we are all struggling with. Whether, which part of the ancient we should hold on to and which we should let go of, and which parts of those that we call modern we should adopt or we should look at with suspicion. Because there is not, it's not always the case that that which we call modern or progressive is actually beneficial to the people. As we can see with the much talked about moral degeneration and people being alienated from each other, it is because there is still yet a vacuum, a very big vacuum which has developed in our society where we find that while the old values have been rejected, yet there is nothing that has been yet created to replace them. And that creates most of our problems. But we should, in any case, whatever happens, not reject the old simply because it is old. A book became that vehicle for me, you know, to say things that I personally find it difficult to say them orally. It's a good vehicle and platform to explore certain things and to say them. Mm -hmm.